Bonjour everyone, I am Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Simple Park. After failing to create a mine train last time, now we have to go on and succeed. <laughs> because, well, we have to succeed and that's why I'm building a toilet, because, well, toilets can't go wrong, can they? And, yeah, um, this toilet was pretty basic, it's just because it was... I've realized by making some simulations and actually I would recommend that you guys, as you're building your parks, having a save where you run simulations only, uh, when, where you let your guests inside the park and, and you know, let the park live. Um, I run simulations to know where the guest flow will be and the what I call the Kest Plaza, again, rest in peace Kest. But the Kest Plaza basically is the central hub of Simple Park. And that's why I wanted to have this toilet, because I need the toilet, a, a big toilet, so that people can, well, pee and poo. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm taking my revenge on the mine train and... Ah, the, the, the layout just went by itself and I realized that I won <laughs> I finally made that mine train and so I will have to smooth it uh, later in the episode but I also wanted to try this fake out which we will use when we will theme it we will not theme the mine train right away there will be a lot of episodes before that happens so yeah subscribe if you want to see that in the future but yeah, I was happy that in the end I was able to make that mine train interact with the lock flume, um, I think twice or, or three times, something like this. And uh, yeah, so the toilet is made, the mine train is made, and also now we're starting to tackle the queue of the lock flume. As I told you last time, we have this little splash zone, uh, which I wanted to cover, because well, of course, I don't want you guys to get wet on the queue. That's why I put this layer of glass in this little shelter for the queue. I'm also beginning to make the rock work and the foliage work uh, around the what will be the station and also the back of the toilet, which will be the exit for the mine train. And yeah, because this, uh, this only drop really, even though there is a small drop after the station, uh, for the small drop I wanted to use the same technique I used um, with Caterpillar, with the junior coaster, uh, the, the most compact coaster ever. I had this little pond and a little stream, is, is it a stream? I, I don't know. Um, this little stream that went down into the pond, I basically used the same water effects to create this effect for uh, the fall and to enhance the fall. Um, the, the fall, the drop, sorry. <laughs> I, I was mimicking a fall. The, the fall? Yeah, a waterfall, basically. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, back to the queue. Now we're building this main um, sheltering for the queue. It's not the station yet. The station will be in the next episode, in episode 6. But, uh, yeah, I wanted... Because at the time I was making this, uh, Craig Moss was actually a someone who was extremely active on my channel and active on Iron Maddie's server, uh, Discord server, my bad. And um, so I wanted to, because we had become great friends, I wanted to make something for him and Craig is a carpenter, so I wanted to have carpenter, carpenter oh my god, that's actually really hard to say, Carpet, ca oh my god. Pronunciation and the French. Always goes wrong, right? <laughs> um, carpenter Craig. Oh my god. Carpen carpenter. Carpenter Craig. Carpenter Craig. Oh, Carpenter Craig. I'm always turning into a frog when I try to pronounce things right. Anyway! Um, yeah, so Carpenter Craig. Craig, no. <laughs> we'll call it CC. Let's call it CC. So yeah, I wanted to create this warehouse for CC because... 
Well, he has to have some sort of housing for the wood and to also um, carve the wood into um, the pieces he uses to create buildings and everything. And so that was uh, the beginning of a sort of storyline, sort of cohesion with the buildings around um, around Simple Park because as you remember you might remember I wanted to base this in uh, the Rocky Mountains and I wanted to imagine um, the, the, the this little western town uh, that was still intact from those days and it had several people uh, still working there so yeah that's the idea and also um, at first, I had a fantasy about a Red uh, oh my god, a Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 town, which was called Strawberry, I think. Someone pointed that out for me a few weeks ago, and um, basically, it's this little town with a sort of water stream in the middle, and I wanted. I always wanted to have this lock flume going in the middle of the town and that's exactly what I've done. So we'll have um, another part of the town uh, on the back of the park, but here we have Craig's warehouse and at the back of this warehouse is his lock flume. Uh, he has partnered with someone else, which whom, <laughs> which and whom, I've already told you whom you will see um, in the next episode because we will build his station but yeah basically Craig is working there and he has this lock flume to get his wood to his warehouse so that he can work with the wood and I'm gonna stop saying wood because you guys are laughing too much I heard I hear you from the past you know <laughs> anyway but Craig is basically the central part of this whole town of Simple Park. Uh, it won't be called the town of Simple Park in the end. Again, you will have to stick around and subscribe to see what the name of the town will end up being. I already know that, but I'm not gonna spoil, the, <laughs> spoil that for you guys because it's a few episodes down the line. I think it will be in episode 7 or 8. We'll see. But yeah, um, it's the most important building because he builds every other buildings for uh, the town. If there weren't any Craig, there wouldn't be um, the town, there wouldn't be any other businesses, there wouldn't be uh, the mining company which we will build in the future, there wouldn't be this... Uh, this other building I can't say anything even though I'm you know I'm technically in the future and, and in the past it, it, it's a weird timeline thing and I'm in between multiverses and everything and the Frenchman is going wild again with strange concepts of eternity or whatever I don't know what am I saying um, yeah <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the the queue line a little bit as you noticed, I'm using the same uh, fences that I've used in Cater Caterpillar's queue lines, and, and yeah, I, I love this thing. Uh, I love everything about this this little place because it's really cozy. Again, you 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 feel like you're on a getaway trip uh, in summer in the Rocky Mountains, you know, and. That's great, and right now you see me play with a sequencer because I was like, oh yeah, that would be fun to have a fart uh, sequencer. So, <laughs> yeah. But with that fart comes the end of the speed build. Don't let me do another fart sequencer, man. And welcome back to the coziness of Simple Park with the coaster going on right as you enter the park. I still. I'm in love with that. I'm sorry, but that's that's great. I, I I love that. It's such a simple thing, but it works. You know, usually it's it's uh, a centerpiece or a, a Ferris wheel like I had in in Parc Ciel Bleu. But now, yeah, we have this coaster and we have another coaster, which is 
Minor Maddie's uh, tank engine, yes. <laughs> because it's referencing that infamous uh, live stream that Maddie did with Eden Springs. If you haven't checked that out, I, I highly recommend that you guys go. But yeah, we are on Kekest Plaza and we have another view of the waterfront. We will have, of course, the station in the next episode, but right now we can see this little waterfall effect with the um, final drop and uh, it's, it looks so good. And as you can see, now the splash zone is covered so that the guests in the queue do not get wet at all. I love this, it's so simple, but I, I can't think of a park that has done that, you know, in the sense that you have parks that usually put that on the exit of the, their water rides, but you don't have parks that utilize that to uh, entertain guests while they're on the queue, and that's what I wanted to do. And yeah, our right side of the park is starting to be fleshed out as well with um, the queue of, of uh, Carpenter Craig's Oh, I've actually said it right for once. Um, but we also will maybe have a car ride there. I may change it in the future. <sighs> what am I saying? I know that I will change it in the future. Stop lying to people, Jan. <laughs> You're honest enough, you can tell them that. And yeah, look at this view. Like, come on. You have the waterfall in the background, you have the, the little bridge thing, and uh, Carpenter Craig's warehouse. It's oh, it's so good. I you know I work my sightlines a lot, and this was perfect in my opinion. Pat on the back. Pat on the back. <laughs> I love patting myself on the back. You you guys have realized. And so yeah, this is the outside access for uh, the little dock thing when there is the little lift hill to go back to the station, and we also see the station uh, the. The, 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 the little turn into the station from the beginning of the queue and I love this like look at this warehouse it's so cool there's not many things to see but that's the essence it's simple it's wood everywhere and also this little rail thing to uh, transport the wood here and there that is really important and also this little ramp to get the um, the cart wheels? The, the carts, just the carts, not the wheels, the, the carts <laughs> up there and on the docks and yeah man, and the lift hill, like the lift hill goes under the bridge and I hadn't planned that as at first but it turns out so great and that's the point, you know, you don't always have to plan things, things just come naturally, you know, it's wonderful how things work uh, we have a little peek at the backstage area just don't look at that don't look at that but yeah we have this little bridge and as you can see we're protected yes we're not wet not yet at least because we will get wet but yeah imagine if every time there was a splash down you guys would get wet I think you guys would be soaked even before you would get on the ride and you can even see the mine train in the distance and yeah the amount of inter uh, you know the point is with a mini park everything has to interact with uh, everything basically everything has to interact with everything because as you maximize interaction the park will feel more alive you know and that's why a mini park is a, a good training basically to build a park because you have to fit so much in such a little space it's really impressive to me what people have done in the mini park contests and that's not something i wanted to replicate at first I, as i told you i wanted to do um a city park recreation but it has evolved in an actual mini park with six rides in the end and so yeah i'm really happy oh we, uh, we've actually missed the fart sequencer. <laughs> but yes, we've also done this, uh, this toilet, uh, th those toilets. Uh, 
right in front of uh, Keikes Plaza because, well, you know, you have to get a central toilet, I guess. It will be probably the busiest toilet around, but yeah, it's also the 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 exit of uh, of Minor Maddie's uh, tank engine. So yeah, I'm I'm still staying around to try to listen to the to the fart sound. Let, let's see if we can catch them. <laughs> and with the green smoke and everything. This is nasty, but it's it's so funny. I wanted to do it. I've always wanted to do it with with not necessarily um events but with this little stack the smoke stack and so here's the park right now we had a big addition which was the mine train and obviously it's not themed yet neither is the lock flume not completely at least but yeah this old right side will be um another coaster and a car ride and this will be a dark ride yes so you guys will see that in the future but Please don't hesitate. Oh my god, I can't speak. Please don't hesitate to subscribe if you want to see that. Leave a like or a comment if you like the video. And I've been Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman. See you guys next time. A bientôt!